Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today guys, I'm in a different like element from what I'm used to. I'm actually here downstairs in my living room. Um, have a lot of things going on. I have a lot of errands to do. So I just thought that I'd like film my intro and outro like really quick and then upload my video. And I'm probably gonna upload it either Friday or Saturday, one of those days, I don't know. Based on the title of today's video, today we're going to work on our backs today. So guys and ladies, ladies, let me tell you something. If you truly want to fake a waist and you want to build a smaller waist and, and have the illusion of an hourglass body, then trust me, like the only way to do that is to work on your back. Work on your lat muscles, work on your wings, and trust me, you're gonna see a huge difference. Today, we're gonna fake a waist, we're gonna build our lats, not only we're gonna build our lats and blast back fat, we're also gonna blast fat in our arms. I mentioned this before, and I think it's so important for all my girls out there. Do not neglect your upper body. Do not do what I did a few years ago where I only focused on legs and I touched upper body like once a week. Like, you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep your body proportional. You really wanna keep the overall tone and nice built look throughout your whole entire body, not just on your legs. So please, ladies, work on your backs, work on your lats, on your shoulders, chest, whatever it is. And I promise you, it's not gonna make you bulky. And honestly, working on upper body is actually really important for legs. I will say this today, I die. Your upper body is going to contribute a lot to your leg day. So when it comes to squat and deadlifting, you are definitely gonna be using your upper body um, muscles to really engage through that workout. So the stronger you are in your upper body, the more weight you'll be able to do when you're working on squats or deadlift. If you're interested in today's workout video, then continue watching. If you're new to this channel and you're new to this video, my name is Jamara Gawas. I am a local fitness influencer. I live here in Miami, Florida. And yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get on to today's workout. All right, guys, in order to truly fake a waist, we really have to build our lats here. So I want you guys to really stretch your lat muscles as you're bringing the weight down. And as you're bringing the weight back up, have that tension and mind to muscle connection on your lats. All right guys, the next two workouts, we're actually gonna superset it. So for this first workout, we're gonna be doing banded rows. Um, all I want you guys to do here is truly have that mind to muscle connection on your mid back and really pull on the band slowly and keep your elbows close to your sides. Alright guys, to complete this super side, we're going to be doing lower back extensions. Um, I want you guys to lift up your chest and really try to keep your lower body on the ground as you're doing this movement. All right guys, for the next super set that we're going to do, we're gonna be focusing on our biceps here. So we're just gonna be doing single arm bicep curls. Keep your elbow locked to your side and feel the contraction on your bicep. complete this super set we're gonna be just doing normal bicep curls all right guys this next workout is absolutely my favorite back workout of all time so we're going to be doing lat pull downs and honestly guys have that mind to muscle connection on your lats as you're putting either the weight or resistance bands down and you're going to feel the actual burn on your wings. All right, guys, I love including ISO movements to my workouts. If you have a muscle group that's weaker than the other side, ISO movements will truly be your best friend. So what we're gonna do here are called single arm lap pull downs and basically the same form and technique that you did for the lap pull downs, you're gonna apply it here, except when you bring the weight or resistance band over your head, you want to feel that stretch on your lap. 
all right guys this is our last workout for the day honestly so we're gonna be doing single arm bicep curls so basically the same format technique as we did with the banded single arm bicep curl applies here the only difference is that i have my arm out for stability and this kind of assures me that i'm working on nothing but my bicep muscle All right guys, so we are done with that workout. Honestly guys, that workout left me sore. It left me sore, it left my biceps and my back really sore. So my workouts are definitely home-based, but you definitely can work them out at the gym. You could definitely use my workouts to work out at the gym. Um, eventually, within the next few weeks, I am going to be going back to the gym. So I'll be providing you guys some gym workouts. Basically, kind of give you guys like a two-in-one, like home workouts and gym workouts. Because I know that some areas are open and some areas are, the gyms are not open. So I'll be providing all that for you guys. And yeah, guys, if you like this video and you like this workout, let me know down in the comments if you felt the burn, if you got sore. Because girl, I know I did. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.